Hello and welcome back to Molabo Linux and uh, I hope you guys are doing great. So um, here today I'm coming with a new video on make bonding on Linux, how to perform some uh, such stuff like that uh, because we can do that on Windows and also it's available on Linux. So, um, so here without further ado, so you can see here is chapter five of my uh, course that I gave on uh, Linux system administration. If you're interested in getting the training, you can just call me. So here, NIC bonding. NIC bonding is the process of aggregating uh, two or more network interfaces together, which are going to go into these leaves and they're going to produce uh, a master, okay? A master interface. So you can see that here, right? We have NIC1, NIC2, uh, NIC for example. We aggregate them and we have a second one that has an IP address that we set up, okay? So that's uh, the same thing. So let's see that in a diagram, okay? So here, for example, <clears throat> uh, let's say you are a system administrator, you're working from home, right? And um, a thunder strike, for example, here, you can see this thunder here, right? It has strike the data center somewhere here. Let's say, for example, this data center, it's somewhere like, uh, let's say, for example, New York, okay? New York, and here you are working from home in, uh, for example, California. All right. So <clears throat> you're working from home in California, right? And there you have your servers in the data center and they have data, okay? And you want, it, you want to access the data from that server, all right? Which has only one NIC card, okay? And here, which has only one NIC card, this one here, okay? So now what happens is that you get connection timeout. Why? Because the connection is not going through, all right? So since the connection is not going through, um, the reason is that the NIC card is not responding, okay? So the NIC card is not available. Yeah, it is, it has been screwed up. So now you have, now you learn from that and you heard about uh, another technology that is called NIC teaming, right? So now Nick Chimin, what it allows you is you have a you have two physical network uh, network interface which are team sleeve two and team sleeve one for example and you have the logical one here logical means it doesn't exist really but uh, at the software level we can we can make it okay so you call that one team zero and it is the master these two here are the are the slaves, right? So when you have something like that, it become a strong network, as you can see here, okay? As you can see here, it becomes a strong configuration. So what are the benefits of having a, a, a NIC, uh, bonding or NIC teaming? You have load balancing, meaning if your configuration, uh, if uh, the configuration that you made are good, so the, the traffic are going to be distributed between your NIC, okay? Then uh, the network traffic is going to be distributed by your NIC. It doesn't replace the load balancer, please. It's just in a load balancing at the NIC level, okay? Also, failover. Failover is like a, it's like a backup of your of one of your nick for example you have two you have three nicks here for example okay if this one goes down okay so let's say this one here goes down then you are your the system will know that there are two more available and i have to pick one of them okay and if this one goes down as well it will do the same thing and if both goes down you will use that one okay yeah so that's the that's the thing we also have high availability like we just said if one of them goes down the other will will still be there right and we also have 
high throughput, right? So there are some amount of data that you can you can write, okay? You can receive on this server the amount of data, and uh, also high performance. High performance. You agree with me that if you have something like that, it's gonna be a really great network, and you're gonna enjoy it because you will never uh, you will never experience downtown, right? You will never experience a down a downtime i mean <laughs> okay so here is your server that is really well configured and that's the data center and here you can really you can connect to your NICAD efficient right so now that you understand the concept of NICAD, let's go with um let's go with uh the practice okay so what do we have in terms of practice in terms of practice what we what we should do is to um the prerequisite uh that you have to ensure that you have a snapshot of your virtual machine just in case that something goes wrong and also turn on and verify your current configuration and power of the vm this is like if you want to touch on every detail and know exactly uh what has been changed okay so we are not going to do that but in my case i know that i already did and everything is working properly and when you are going to power on i will tell you exactly where uh, some stuff has changed according to what we are going to do so here three add one more nick or <clears throat> ethernet car ethernet adapter to your vm from virtual virtual bus if you are using virtual box or VMware if you are using VMware and power it on back okay you now have two NIC cards at the, at the moment and to verify it you have to do this to type this comment that you see here NMCLI device status and after that after verifying you will have to delete the current configuration on the NIC card okay so that it can override the configuration for the configuration from, from the HC, the etcd directory okay and uh, here is how you are going to delete that and then we are going to ping an ip address that is unreachable on our network so you will do that on your network i know i'm using a class uh, class a ip address so i'm going to do that on my own on my side and you will have to do it on your side as well according to your network so don't pick my network if it's not the same please i don't want you to get in trouble then uh, verify your work at the end with uh, team D, okay? Team D, the team demon CTL, team zero state. So this team zero is, the, is gonna be the name of the, the master, if you remember from the slide, right? From the, from the diagram here, is the master that we are going to, to do. Okay, so now, um, here's the configuration. We are going to do the active backup one, but if you want, you can try any of this, okay? Because these are the different modes that you can configure and these are the, this policy is also called a uh, runner. So the active backup here that we are going to do is what? Uh, one, NIC, uh, one NIC active, one NIC active while another NIC is asleep, okay? Active backup, so meaning one is down, no, it's not like it's really down, but it's sleeping, okay? And it's gonna be wake up when the other one will go down, okay? We are going to, to see that. And if the active, if the active uh, nick goes down, another nick becomes active, only supported in x86 environment, okay? So if you are the, eight, the 886 environment, we are going to do that as well. But I think for X, uh, I mean, for 64 bit, it also works. So it support fault tolerance, like we said, right? Fail over. And also load balancing, no, it doesn't support that. So you can see the one that support the uh, load balancing and configure it for your network, okay? So we have those different seven modes here. We have round robin, active backup, XOR, uh, exclusive OR, um, also broadcast data, uh, dynamic link aggregation, transmit load balancing, and adaptive load balancing. 
okay so we are going to do the mode one that is active backup all right now for the implementation here's how it's going to be done um the master nick the master nika will have i mean there um yeah here there are there are actually many ways to implement this technology but we are going to stick with the nmcli because you have the nmt you have the configuration file that you can modify to do that and you also have the gui okay but i think at some point uh some of those are really uh really tedious so we are going to do that with the easiest one which is the nmcli and it's really fast and reliable so yeah, is that okay the master nick will be called team zero okay that's what we said and here is the configuration that we are going to do on it and you can see that here and then we will configure the nick the networking the networking only on the master so there is no ip address at all to configure at the slave uh, level only on the master level we have to do that because the master level is the logical one and the slave are the physical one that we are going to aggregate together to have a high performance uh high performance um, uh, nick logical nick okay so here is it we're going to give a ip address to that and a mask this is for your network again and the gateway for your network again the gns yes you can pick this one or 4444 or uh, whatever and then the method is going to be manual meaning we don't want a gcp and here we're going to say we want to we want to we want it to be available at the boot time when the server restart then the slave are going to be uh, respectively uh, they are going to be respectively called um uh, team zero dash slave one for the ENP zero three team zero dash uh, team zero dash slave two for ENP zero eight. Okay, the slaves the slaves will refer to the master without any networking configuration again. And here is how we are going to create them. And if we have enough time, we are going to delete as well. If you didn't take the snapshot, so let me. Uh, let me uh, ping the IP address, one of the IP address in my network to see if it's available or no. So I'm going to do um, ping. I told you I'm using a class A, so dot zero dot zero dot, uh, for example, 181. I'm picking any random IP address and I'm going to uh, send a count, okay? So it has to do that four times. And you can see that I got here uh, request timeout so meaning i can safely use this guy but i'm not sure it's going to pick up my my configuration here i don't know what's going on with rocket i've been trying to do that a lot and it's still using a random ip address rather than this one so let's try and see what uh is going to be okay so now let's go on virtual box so the first thing that we have to do on virtual box is to um is to add a second NIC card. You can see that here I have only one adapter on the network section that you see here. So you can see that I have only one network adapter and I have a NAT, I have it on NAT. I don't want the NAT, I'm gonna change that to bridge adapter, okay? So now I'm gonna click on, I'm gonna click on, okay. And after that, I'm gonna click here on network. You can do that here, or you can go to settings like this and go to network. So, and if you do this here, you have the same thing, okay? So I'm going to network. You can see that I have one that is enabled and the second one that is enabled. So before doing that, before doing that, you have to take the snapshot, okay? So to take the snapshot, you click here and then you come here. So to have that, right, if I click somewhere, if I click on this one, you see that it is here. So I click here, I come here and then snapshot and you can take the snapshot and give any name. Snapshot will enable you to revert back at any point of time if you need to, okay? at the previous uh, uh, time before the configuration that you did. So now I'm going to take my snapshot. Yeah, I already, I already take, uh, took my snapshot. Now I'm going to add a second NIC card. And here you can see that I have the adapter one here that is enabled and it is attached to adapt, uh, 
this bridget adapter and um, yeah and then i'm going to add a second one and enable network adapter and it is not attached to anything yet so i'm going to attach it and click on okay now if i turn off my after the configuration i turn on if i turn off my uh i turn off my server i'm going to see that i have only one nick at the nut because these are the configuration that i did after the snapshot now i'm going to uh, power on the server because I told adapter now. So at the software level, we should see something like that. So I'm gonna pause on the video so that it is not too long and come back when it is, it has finished to loading. Okay, it is, it is back. Okay, so now I'm gonna, you can see here that I have something, right? So like I was saying, you can configure it here, okay? You can configure it here and you see that I have one of them that is not up and running, right? It is off. So I can connect it if I want, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now. And you can see that I have the current connection on an EMP 0S3, meaning that a server can have multiple NIC card together. So now I'm gonna click here and go on my terminal because we are system administrator. So now, <clears throat> Okay, so here now I can type uh, IPA, IPA, uh, IPA show, okay? And then I will uh, type enter. So as I, as I type enter, you can see here that I had a look back one, I had the ENP03 that we saw, I have it with the IP address of 19 right and here i have one i have another one which is the enp 0s3 and here at the at this level you saw that it was off right so that's why you can see that it doesn't have any ip address okay so now what i will do is to check them with the nmcli and nmcli connection if I type like that, you will see that I have only one ENP03 with type of Ethernet and the UID, the UUID and the ENP03, okay? It is the device. And here's the name of the connection. Do, do, not confuse, do not be confused with both, okay? They just are the same name because that's how the software did that. And now to see the different devices, I can type NMCLI and then device, okay? And you can see that I have them here again. And here is the name of their connection. So that name here, okay? So here now, this one is being disconnected because of something. So it's not a problem. They say <clears throat> we have to delete those two, right? But before deleting, I wanna show you something, okay? So if I move to this directory, uh, this uh, config, Oh, sorry, I think I put space here. I was trying to tabulate, but it wasn't going through. So I want to type sysconfig, uh, uh, yep. And then uh, network script and uh, finally type enter. And if I do this, you can see that I have only one NIC card available to be configured, okay? If I do cut on it, you can see that it is going through the GACP to get its IP address. It has a UUID, it has a device name on boot. Yes, everything is built within. So the other one, the ENP0 is because it is off, okay? So, and if it's off and you want to configure it uh, to be on, you can type NMCLI <clears throat> um, uh, device, device up. Okay, device up, and then you put the name of the device, which is ENP, ENP0S3. And since that is not working, we have to try something else, which is connection up, all right? So it wasn't, that, that was a device connect. So I'm gonna type uh, here, so here, oh, I mean here, uh, 
it, it didn't even go through. So they say it doesn't understand that. So here, uh, let me copy this. So here, right? Oh, sorry. So here I was uh, I was trying to copy it. So here, what you have to do is type uh, this way, okay? Connect, uh, connect, okay? For it to be connected. But I wanna do, I wanna try this one, uh, connection up and ENP 0S8. So error connection, Oh, no connection so it doesn't have that connection that's true right so now you are going to type connection uh, connect yep and now this one is going through so if you click here you will see that it is uh i think it will come up right it will come up uh it is not coming up. So if you do this, hmm, that's where you, anyway, that's not the purpose of this uh, uh, tutorial. <laughs> so now we're gonna, <clears throat> we're gonna delete those two configuration file, okay? So to delete them, we type nmcli um, connection, so we have to delete the connection name, connection, ENP, uh, delete, I mean, delete uh, ENP 0S3. And the other one is not there. So meaning we can type, we can, uh, we can type this, right? There's that. We can type uh, NMCLI device and we see that they are disconnected together. So now it's good at that, at that point. Now we have to create a team, a master, okay, team zero. So to create a master uh, from the video, oh, I understand. I didn't have the root privilege to do that, to bring up the the other, the other interface, so that's normal. And you can see that here, I don't have any icon anymore. So I'm gonna connect as root user before doing such stuff like that, because I we need to have a, a pseudo privilege, but you can add a permission to a specific user if you want, so that it can modify without, without the pseudo privilege. So uh, my password, I almost forgot it, okay. Boom. Now um, it's time for us to, um, yeah, to create our network interface, NMCLI. Now we're gonna type add, oh, not agent, add. Oh, connection first, because we have different, we have different ones here, okay? So if you type like this, you will see. You have device, you have health, you have networking, you have radio monitor, general connection agent. So I'm going to choose connection, okay? Yeah. Connection, now I'm going to choose add because that's the next uh, available one amongst the other that are there, they are modifying all those stuff. Now I'm going to add the type of team, which is team, okay? And now the connection name is con and you just tabulate and I'm gonna give the name as team zero. And here, after that, I'm gonna give the IF name of it, okay? The IF name of it is gonna be, so the interface uh, connection name, okay? Of that, like just ENP03 at the device level. So here is another device that I'm adding, but it's a logical one now. So the logical uh, NICAD is gonna be called team zero that's what i'm choosing and now what is the configuration that we want to do on that okay so i'm going to open single code and close them because i don't want to forget at the, at the at the end and then open the curly bracket and close the curly bracket now come at the between the first and the second curly bracket open double quote close double quote put here um runner okay and after the, the 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 double quote put colon put space 
and put a what come inside the second one the second uh, curly bracket open and close the the thing and then type name so we're going to give a name to that runner and open and close again so the name of that runner is going to be called active backup okay active backup so if you want to see that you can see that from our slide okay from our slide here we have it okay so here is what i'm typing and here on the slide you see we are doing the active backup the mode one okay so meaning we don't have load balancing why because one is down so um let me come back here and now i'm going to type enter so if everything went went well we will have this message and a new uuid that has been generated now if we type device uh NMCLI device. <clears throat> we will see that we have these two that are disconnected. And now we have this, right? We have a team zero. That's the divide the IF name here that I gave the IF name here. Okay, it was team zero. So here it is. And now the type, the type that I gave was team. Okay, to say that I want to aggregate multiple make car together and <clears throat> the state now it is connecting it is trying to connect and get an ip address so it's waiting for an ip address configuration and the connection name is this okay the connection name is this one the one you see here connection name is this one that i pick okay now if you want to get more information about that you can type nmcli um nmcli connection show okay connection show and then team and pipe it to to more because it's going to print so many things you can see the connection id uid uh, the, the connection type here again you see the connection interface name okay um what else you can see that there are so many stuff so I'm typing enter, typing enter, typing enter. You can see here, uh, GCP host name. Yes, uh, but that's not what we want. So we're gonna we're gonna uh, disable that. Okay, and uh, the uh, IP address, the gateway, it doesn't have any for now. Okay, IP address, DNS. Uh, route and all those stuff it doesn't have any for now so that's what we are going to do okay and uh, so on so forth so on so forth okay <clears throat> okay so you can see the runner here is active backup okay and this is how we configure the runner so as we did that something happened here okay so if i go to that directory again um sysconfig uh, network script and i do ls you see now that we have a new interface card and if we do cut on that <coughs> we have this okay these are the configuration that we just did so we have this all right so uh, you can see that for now, it is trying to receive an IP address from the GACP, but we're gonna disable that, okay? And you can see the device name here. So <clears throat> now it, it's time for us to create IP address on that, okay? To do some networking configuration on that. So NMCLI, NMCLI uh, connection modify, okay we can type mode or modify and what what is the device that are what is the connection that i want to uh, mod modify the connection name is team zero okay and what do i have what do we want to modify the ip address version four because we also have version six okay and if you tabulate uh we want to add address it's going to be addresses and now you remember that 10.0.0.181 that i i picked yep and it wasn't going through that's what i'm going to 
put you the 181 and now the now we want to add um um we want to add uh, the net mask in my case is slash 24 so i'm typing that and typing enter now the next thing is what is the gateway okay so the gateway my gateway is going to be uh 10.0.0.0 no, that one, I mean, okay, because this is for the router, okay, so I'm typing enter. Now, the GNS, the GNS, uh, you can pick any, okay, you can pick any. So I'm going to take the Google one, 8.0.0.8.8, uh, I mean, I'm tripping. Okay, so now uh, the next one is to enable the uh, IP version mode because it is on DCP for now. Okay, IP version four, and then uh, method. Okay, the method. I mean, it's manual. Okay, so we we are telling him that this is manual. All right, and uh, yeah, manual, and also. Also, uh, auto connection. So connection auto connect. Connection dot auto connect. Meaning, do we uh, we want you to be up and running when the system restart? Okay. Yes. So let me hit this again and this again because I have experiencing some trouble here this thing I don't know okay so now if we check that file again cut uh, of this guy you will see that it has now those configuration that we just added okay the prefix the ip address and everything so still now we don't have it up and running okay that if we do team team gctl and then team zero, the name of the interface, and then we check the status, the state of that. You will say runner active, and what is the runner that is uh, using? The runner is active backup, and what is the runner that is uh, it is using? Okay, so now it's done with that one, right? We just did, we just did this. Okay, we just did this here. Now we have to configure the sleeves. So now to configure the sleeves, we just add the connection name. Okay, we add the type as team, the team sleeve, their connection name, and we refer them. Uh, we say that they are going to use this existing uh, interface that is already there, ENP03 and ENP08. And then we tell them that the master here is gonna be team zero. Okay, so let's go and do that. So again, if I'm if I do ls minus l in the current directory where I am, you will see that I have only one here. Okay, I have only one. So now um, we are going to to configure that. And if I do a nmcli device, you will see that these two here are still down. Okay, they are still down. Now, if I do a NMCLI uh, connection add, okay, we want to add a new type, which is team dash slave. Okay, you just type it and it will go through. And then what is the connection name? The connection name, the connection name that we want to use is team i'm just create i'm just uh, making up okay i'm just uh, making it up so dash slave so you can try it on your on your side by doing something else so i'm creating the first one for this interface here that you see here okay for this interface now the interface that you are going to use which is it doesn't exist yet is it's uh this one okay enp 0s3 and who is your master? Your master is team zero. Okay. 
and then hit enter. Now I'm calling back, I'm leaving the master as the same, I'm changing the interface name and, and I'm changing the connection name here, which is, you can see that we already have something up, right? Because the guy is already using, using that. But if I type, uh, if I type uh, control C here, control C, and I type uh, device, we see that this guy has joined as the slave already, okay? And it is connected. And by default, this guy is also connected. So um, now I'm gonna add this guy as well, the ENP08. And you can also see that with this, you will see that, hey, this is the configuration, okay? I have this guy that is up already. This guy is up already. And uh, the name, uh, yeah, it is up. The, uh, it was down before, right? And now it is. So the, the runner that I'm using and that is active is this guy, okay? So now we are going to add the, the guy that is gonna be asleep, right? So the guy, and you can also, um, see that if I do ls minus l, we see that now I have two right here. And if I do cut on that one, okay, you can see this is the configuration. So at the configuration file, if you wanna do it manually, that's how you are going to do it, okay? Now let's add the second one. The second one is gonna be ENP 0 is eight, okay? It's going to be ENP08 and then sleeve uh, two. Okay. So we type enter. Good. All right. So now if we if we do this, we will see two now. Okay. And if we check on the on this, we see that now we have one that has been joined, right? Here it says up, but it is not using it yet, right? Because it say here the active one is what ENP zero S three, okay? So it is not up. Uh, that this is the one that is currently using, but this guy is is sleeping. Even even though it says up, okay, it is sleeping. All right. So um, yeah. So that's how we do that. That's how we do that. So now we have to. So let's check as well here, device, you can see this, okay? You can see this. And uh, now it is time to test and see if we, if we put this one down. Now let's, uh, let's check our IP address, IP show, right? Let's check our IP addresses and you can see that uh, ENP03, they don't have any IP address, right? They don't have any. But if you look at the team guy, uh, it's doing that to me all the time. You see <laughs> what I was, I was talking about? You can see that he has picking up another IP address and I don't know why it is doing that. Seriously, I don't know why. Okay, but if you look at the configuration file, you will perfectly see your team there. Maybe I have to do some troubleshooting stuff. Let me try to uh, NMCLI, <clears throat> NMCLI uh, uh, device. No, uh, no, connection down, connection down uh, on, yeah, on the team zero and uh, also i after it, it has been down i wanna i want it to be up right so i want it to be up so i'm gonna do this and say that i want you to be up after that so basically i'm i'm restarting it okay and let's see if that has solved the problem and you can see that yes it has solved the problem right that the problem has been solved so now it is good now let's let's uh test our let's now test our this guy okay 
So currently it is using this guy. And since I restarted, he said that the countdown is nothing. So nothing has been down for now. So I'm gonna, since it is using this guy, which is here, I'm gonna put it down, right? So I'm gonna type uh, NMCLI connection down of who? Of team that dash uh, uh that was one right yep it is down now let's see if the backup so the backup means that as soon as this guy is goes down right this guy will pick up and now let's verify that yep it is working you see the other guy is down so this guy has been picked up to be active all right, and do we, do we still have our IP address? IP a show. You can see that we have our IP address, right? And can we connect to that? Let's try. Uh, SSH, uh, the name of the user is you user, and then add, uh, the IP address is 10.0.181 and type enter, which is really weird. It is not going through. Don't know why. According to what we did, it was supposed to go through, right? So let's uh, bring that guy up again. Yeah, so my... Uh, this guy, he went, he went off. Okay, so if I type... If I type this like this, I think this has to this has to has to do with uh, the fact that uh, we were not we didn't uh, we didn't enable this guy to be up at the beginning, right? I don't think that it has to be uh, that. Let's kill me. So I'm trying that again. It's not going to, I swear it. So now if I try to, uh, let me do a system CTL. Uh, um, yeah, it's good to test your configuration just to make sure that you can still log in, right? So it's really weird that I'm not able to log into that cell. Yet it is showing the IP address and everything seems to go smoothly. It is using the ENP verse eight. You remember that you had a problem with that one? So I'm gonna put it down. Bring it up so that it will click on the other one. Oh, no. Now, up. Okay. So if we verify again, this guy is picked up. Now, let's go here and Yep, you can see here that it is trying to connect as soon as we do that. It says what? It is possible that someone is doing something nasty. <laughs> yeah, that's me. I'm doing something nasty, I know. So um, verification fails. So I have, to, I have to do some more configuration. Yeah, so that's what I was saying. But let's try to print Google. 
for example, we go on. That is going through. So meaning our server can go online. So that's what I was saying about taking the snapshot. So if you didn't do that, it will not resolve the problem. So if you haven't taken the snapshot, you have to uh, bring this guy down. Um, device. Uh, disconnect. Okay. And it's team zero. So you do that first and then you delete, you delete, uh, you delete it, and then you delete the sleeve. So you do connection, delete. Um, connection, delete, um, yeah, team. Yeah. Yeah, being successfully deleted, and now you restart your you restart your network. So it will system CTR restart network. Mm. Okay, so uh, and then here I load. Oh, shall we load? Oh, let's do that again. Nothing is coming up, right? <laughs> so if we do, uh, I do a show. Yeah, we don't have the team anymore. Yeah, have those two guys, they are down. We have to bring them up. So we're going to type uh, NMCLI uh, device connect. And then put the name of the device, emp 0 is true and emp 0 is Let's hmm. Oh, let's try the name of the group. Okay. So we bring that one first. And then we bring the second one. Yep, now you can see that the icon has come back. And if you do IPA show again, you have the IP address picked by this guy, and the other one does pick this IP address. So that's how you do. And you can also do like this by restoring. Okay, so make sure this one is checked. And then off. So thank you guys for. Uh, Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, if if you have anything that you can suggest, just just, uh, just let me know. It was really a funny experience, and uh, we have done this. And the only thing that I will say is please subscribe, uh, give uh, leave a like. It really helps me. Uh, also comment and share with your friends. See you at the next video, and check out my other videos. Bye.